Hey everyone, Miss Beauty Bitch here, and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about powder foundation and the different options you have when choosing the perfect powder foundation. So today in this video I'm going to talk about three of my favorites, um, Bare Minerals Matte, uh, MAC Studio Fix Powder, and Clinique, um, this is the Super Balanced Powder Makeup. So, um, I first started out, I have oily combination skin, and so I wasn't really too crazy about the idea of using a liquid foundation every single day, because I didn't want to look really done up, and I just think, you know, for a natural look, it, sometimes it's better to use a powder foundation, especially if you have oily skin. So, um, I first started using the regular Bare Minerals formulation, but when they came out with the Bare Minerals matte, I was really excited because at the time it was summer and it was really humid and I just thought this would be a really great product for me to try. Um, just to tell you a little bit about the product, um, sorry, this is really messy. It comes with a little adjustable lid that has a little crank so you can open it up um, to release powder. As you can see, mine is really messy anyway, so obviously this lid has not been helping me with the mineral powder as far as keeping it a little more clean. Um, I guess remember to close the lid, because obviously I don't. Um, this is color medium beige, which for me is a little too dark, but um, the lighter color was too light. Um, so that was a downside of this foundation is that there aren't a ton of color variety and so, you know, you have to be a little careful with it, really blend it out and stuff. Um, this one is really good at absorbing oil. Um, it has a really clean matte finish and the thing I really like about the Bare Minerals Matte more than the Bare Minerals Regular is that this product does not contain bismuth. If you haven't heard of bismuth, um, bismuth is the chemical or mineral um, in the regular formula that gives you that kind of waxy, um, candle-ish like glow of your skin. It makes your skin kind of shinier, like a healthy little glow. And th that is not in the matte, which I personally love because in the summertime when my pores open up and the product gets inside, it starts kind of itching. And a lot of people have said that about Bare Minerals, is that because it contains bismuth, it really makes people itch. So I was really excited about this formulation because it doesn't have that in it, and so I don't itch. So if you are itching from the regular formula, I would try this one, and if you have oily skin, definitely go with this one over the regular. Next I'm going to talk about MAC Studio Fix Powder. Um, this just comes in a compact like this and a little sponge. If you want more coverage, you can apply with the sponge, and if you want less coverage, you can apply with like a kabuki brush, like sort of like this. Um, I've been wearing this for a really long time. It supposedly has silica in it, so it's good for oily skin. Um, it absorbs oil. However, I have found with this product that throughout the course of the day, it does get a little oily and it sort of sits on top of the skin, especially in my forehead. So if you're going to use the Studio Fix powder, I would recommend using some blotting papers or a sheer press powder over it or the oil absorbing powder that MAC has that comes in a compact. Um, don't use this product over a liquid foundation. I have watched so many reviews where people are like, oh, so I'm applying my Studio Fix fluid and now I'm going to put my Studio Fix powder over it. Just because they're both called Studio Fix does not mean that they're supposed to be worn together. Wearing the Studio Fix fluid with the Studio Fix powder is going to be way too much coverage. So do not do that unless you're like crazy and you really want to have a cakey face. I don't know what to tell you. Um, this one I really like. I would probably recommend um, applying it with a brush more than a sponge because it conserves the product. Uh, it doesn't eat up the product as much. However, I found with this product the importance of under eye conceal concealer because it's really hard to get the powder sort of up under the eye area. So if you're going to use a powder foundation like this, I would suggest putting the under eye concealer on first. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. Um, I would recommend putting the under eye concealer on first and then going through with this powder foundation. 
The third one I want to talk about is Clinique's new Super Balanced Mineral Foundation, and it's supposedly the powder version of the um, Super Balanced Liquid formula. So this is how it looks in the liquid, and this is what it looks like in the powder. Um, between the two, I think I like the liquid a little better just because it gives more coverage. Um, however, if you're looking to try a mineral foundation from Clinique, I would highly recommend this. Um, it has a really nifty dial right here, so you can just turn it clockwise and the powder starts coming out. So I'm sure you can see that. And it comes with a little brush. I threw it away because it's really crappy. Um, so if you're going to use this, I would recommend using a big like kabuki like this and sort of like Bare Minerals, just tap it in here, tap off the excess, and then buff around your face. Um, for me personally, if it were between MAC or uh, Bare Minerals Matte and the Clinique Super Balanced Mineral Foundation, I would choose to go with the um, Bare Minerals just because it is really a lot better with absorbing oil and it it just lasts a lot longer throughout the day. Um, this one is has a kind of a dewy finish, which is probably really good for someone with normal to dry skin, but since I have normal to oily skin, I really don't want to be touching up, I really don't want to look dewy, I just want to look matte and clean and fresh. So if you like a dewy look, I would recommend this Clinique um, Super Balanced, and if you like a more matte finish, I would do the Bare Minerals Matte. Um, the good thing about the Clinique one, though, is that there are a lot more colors, um, and I think that you'll have an easier time finding your perfect match in this one than you will in this one. So, and also I've read that some people have said that this, for some reason, is a little more orangey than the regular formula. So that's another thing you might want to look into. Um, I believe Ulta and Sephora give away free samples of this and even your bare mineral store, so I would recommend trying it maybe before you buy it to make sure it's the right color um, and to make sure it's not making you look orange. I have had people say to me, wow, Ashley, you look really tan today. And I'm like, what? I have not been tanning. And then I realize, oh, it's because I'm wearing this um, bare minerals matte, which does make me look a little more orange, a little more tan, which might be okay for you. For me, it's a little bothersome. So all in all, um, depending on who you are, what you like, what your skin type is, you know, these three products are all great in their own ways. As far as an everyday good looking product, I would probably recommend the Clinique or the Bare Minerals. This one is just really, the MAC Studio Fix Powder is really heavy coverage and if you aren't looking for a really, you know, finished look, you probably really don't need that for every day. So, um, I hope that this has helped you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, uh, or message me, or leave a comment. And be sure to follow me on Twitter, at Miss Beauty Bitch. And thanks so much, and I hope you subscribe. Have a great day.